type of shit. I ride handmade downs with the rips type of shit. I hate to get it on my own, cutthroat type of shit. I knew I had to put on for my fam to get rich. Knew I had to get out of town cause I had to just go level up. Little country town for me at the time just was not enough. Started my own chapter in a town I ain't never been. But now I got these memories that I won't forget. Good CJ. What's good? What's good, Josh? Yeah, yeah. What a time to be alive. Yeah, yeah. I can get it on my own. Look it up at the ground. I'm the type to shoot it to you straight. My mama always said I did things the wrong way. But I believe there's a reason for everything. Even when you win and when you don't get the rain. Rain, sun, and shine. I'm a Smile. The only thing we don't get back in life is time. Time to spend my time wise. People talk fast and time flies. be with you fellas and ladies ladies and fellas let's run that tune back one more again tell me what you think of it Ooh, what a life what a life Shit is dark as fuck in here. It's whatever. Y'all, 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 y'all don't mind. At least I hope you guys don't mind. Oh shit, I think this is on the big screen. Um But yeah, man, that's the new tune. That's a little that's a little little taste of it. It'll be out on uh Spotify and all the good stuffs here soon. So make sure you're on the lookout for that. Um But you guys know the vibes. 
You think Tall Kyle? Um, you think Tall Kyle was right? Country-ish, but good. I mean, that's the thing, man. It's like that's kind of me. That's kind of me. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, like when I, um, when I when I sing that shit, it's like I don't know. That's me. That's where my family. That's that's just the way. Honestly, it's just the way it comes out. I know it might sound weird. It might be a little country, but and I don't even listen to country. Y'all know I don't like country, but that's like my that's that's I mean and as weird as this sounds, that's my fucking hood. You know what I mean? Shirt is fire. Appreciate that. Uh, silk shirt, bro. You know I had to. I had to hit y'all with the whole fit, dog. It's a whole fit, dog. Y'all know what it is. Kiss your boy Looney. Come on now. You know I had to hit y'all with the whole fitty. Come on, boy. <laughs> These are these are little these are my little silk jam jams, you know what I mean? <laughs> I had to hit y'all with that, but what's good? Um Josh and uh CJ, Paper Eating Rock, Mucky, Jeffrey Wolf, what's good? How you doing? Billy Baru, hell yeah, you already know what it is. Mucky, how you doing? Who who can't love cats? I know that's what I'm talking about. Who can't love cats? I mean for real. But y'all know I had to hit y'all with that, dude. Come on. Look at me, this shit is for ya. Let's fucking go. How you guys been, man? How's everybody been? My week has been great. Uh, while you guys flood the chat with how your week was, my week was, uh, don't you get hot in bed? Boy, I don't sleep with this in bed, big dog. I sleep in the straight jammy or jams. I, street, I sleep in just the little um, just the little banana hammocks, if you know what I mean. What? One sec, I have... One sec, I have my... The woman's calling. One second. Brief intermission. Sausage wallet was calling. Um, my week was just above average. My week was below average. Nice. The Jamie Jams, bro. You, bro. You know I'd be sleeping in the straight undies, man. I sleep in straight undies, dude. I, I'm gonna be real with you, bro. I sweat in my sleep. Let me let me get vivid with it real quick. I sweat in my sleep, and it's nasty. And yeah, it's gross. Um, and I have to sleep. I, dude, I literally just sleep with just a sheet. Just a sheet. That's it. And I have a fan on all night, and we keep the AC on 70. And y'all see me. I'm like I'm like a buck 80 with all my clothes on with a belly full of food. Every time, every time, bro, I sleep. I don't know if it's the humidity in Texas, but, dude, I just... And, and it's not like I wake up, like, wetty like spaghetti, or I don't wake up like I've been sleeping in the bottom of a canoe that's got water in it or anything. But I just, I, I, I get a little hot in there, you know what I mean? So I sweat a little bit, it gets on, you know, it just, you can just feel it when you wake up, it's like, you know what I mean? I'm like, Ugh, it's a little gross, but it, it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't, there ain't nothing I can do to change it. But I literally sleep on just uh, under a sheet, just a sheet with a fan on all night, AC on 70. Every night. It'd just be like that, dude. That's why I always take morning showers, because, bro, bro, mukbang, I've actually been waking up at 6 a.m., not every single day. I'd be lying if I said every single day, but I'd say four out of the seven days of the week and go into the gym at 6 a.m. And then right after that showering, oh my God, it feels great. So let me let me, let me me update you guys. I can't sleep with the comforter way too hot. She, yeah, dude, I'm, I, whew, the comforter just, it, sometimes it just be too much, but let me, let me update you on the, the new morning routine. Maybe this will inspire you guys to start waking up early. But, so I wake up in the morning, 6, I'm usually out the door by 6, 10, 6, 15, because it takes me a minute, I, I usually get Loki up, take him out, whatever it may be, um, but I go directly to the gym, um, and I work out for probably maybe 30, 40 minutes, I'm doing this new 5, 3, 1 workout, 5, 3, 1, 5, 3, 1, uh, I'm doing this new 5, 3, 1 workout, where basically you do, um, it's either, uh, it's, I believe it's deadlift, uh, up, uh, uh, fucking shit. Oh, God, where's my phone? Here, I'll tell you what it is. Non-sponsor. 
uh, five, three, one strength. Okay. So it's squats, bench press, deadlifts, and shoulders. So basically you take this app and then it tells you it, you, you put in your max, you say how much you can do. And then it's like, all right, 65% is going to be this weight. You do it five times. You do 75, five times you do 85%, five, as many, as many reps as you can, five as many. And then you go back to the first one. And then you do that, you break it up into groups. So you do like bench press and squat one day, and then you do deadlift and shoulders one day. So today was deadlift and shoulders. I did those. And so then after week on week two, you go three, three, three. And on the last one, you go five, three, one, and then you deload and then you go back to five, five, five. So yes, my place does have its own gym. Uh, it's a non-sponsor by the way, fuck Dean. Um, but it's, it's really been helping just with overall strength and flexibility and being better with my body weight. And so I've been doing that. I'll go work out for a little bit. I get home. I immediately drink some ice cold water. I take a ice cold fucking, not an ice cold shower, but I'll get in a warm shower. But then I've, I've gotten into the routine of turning the ice or turning the water down, like fucking as cold as it can get. And then I sit in that for maybe five to seven seconds. And then I get out and dude, that cold water will fucking light you up like a damn campfire. So if you aren't doing like cold showers, like ice cream, yes, no, I don't do ice cream. No, I don't do ice cream. Um, but if you don't do cold showers, like it, it get into the shower when it's hot, but then afterwards, like turn it cold and let that shit, it'll close up your pores. It'll ignite you. It, it does something to the body, man. It's really good for you. Um, but I do that. And then I immediately eat half of a banana, uh, half a banana. And depending on the size of the strawberries, I eat about three to four strawberries. Around 10 a.m., I eat a rice cake with some peanut butter on it and then whatever for lunch, and then I maybe snack the rest of the day. Um, drink some coffee and shit around 10 or 11, and then I'll drink tea in the evenings just to kind of flush it all out because actually caffeine is actually good for digestion, so I don't know if you guys knew that. Drinking less. Um, haven't probably smoked weed in two months, so just you've changed, I know. So I'm just trying to be in, I'm trying to be in the best shape of my life, man. Um, and I want to be like a solid 175, 180, but I just want to be like, not chiseled. I don't want to be cut, but I just want to be fit. I want to be in great shape for my size. You know what I mean? Um, weed is a money pit and it's also, it's also a laziness pit. I don't know about you guys, but dude, like when I smoke, I don't want to do shit. And the thing is, the thing is when I do smoke, bro, I want it all day. I want to smoke in the mornings. I want to smoke in the afternoons. I want to smoke in the evenings. I want to smoke right before, but you know what I mean? It's like, it's like never enough. And I'm, 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 I'm the type that's like, if I got it, I smoke it. And it's like, I just had to get away from that shit. So it's like, I'm like, I'm growing up, I'm maturing, I'm getting older. And I'm like, bro. And I, and, and it's another thing, heavy weed user, but I like, it makes me not eat and not move and eat. Yeah, bro. It makes me eat so much. I used to wake up every day and smoke. And I would just be fucking eating. That's how I got up to 190 during COVID because I was just blowing my face off like Nick, Nicolas Cage and fucking John Travolta in the movie Face Off. I was just fucking smoking all day. And then before you knew it, I was like, oh, my God, like, let me see if I can find a picture of this fucking movie cover. I was basically I was basically like these two dudes right here. I was like Nicolas Cage and John Travolta in Face Off because I was straight blowing my shit off. You know what I mean? And it's yeah, it also is a money pit. You spend so much you spend so much damn money on it. It's like, bro, why am I? Why am I sitting here spending so much damn money on this shit? It's like, I could be doing so much other shit with my time. Like, you know, it'd just be, it'd just be having you like this sometimes. Like, bro, you just need to, you need to switch your life up, do something a little bit better with it. So it was a crutch. It really was because I would want it all the time. And when I smoked weed, I wanted it all the fucking time. I was like, oh, I can always just want to smoke, fuck. Cut back on drinking as well. Only drink on the weekends, Friday, Saturdays, or Sundays. Um, but I don't really drink beer. I drink liquor, which eh, it's really not that much better for you, but, um, I've just been waking up earlier, waking up earlier, being really strict on the sleeping schedule, consuming better content, um, trying to be consistent with everything that I do. And then also I've got a new venture for you guys. So this pack past week was great. We got a new tune recorded, which is fucking awesome. That'll be out to Friday. That'll be out Friday. I think right at midnight, the new single drops. It's called Mud. So um, it's been on socials. I, I, I don't know if I've put it in the, the Discord yet, but uh, check it out on Friday. It'll be dropped. That one I just played. I'll play it again before the stream is up. But oh yeah, so so y'all know I'm big into crypto. I know you guys. I don't know. I don't know if all you guys are into crypto. Put a one in the chat if you're like into crypto. And when I mean into it, it's like you got some new track. Yes, sir. What's good, Loon Dog? How you doing, El Chicano? Yes, I'm doing good, man. How you doing? 
It's good to see you. So put a one in the chat if you're into crypto. And what I mean by into crypto is like you've got some crypto. Maybe you don't have a ton of it, but you got a little bit of it. And even if even if you're not into crypto, um, you're probably into money just because um, you got to have it to live. <laughs> and it'd be like that. So I've started doing this thing called um, I got a little sum sum in Coinbase. OK, OK, that's that's all that matters. That's all that matters. So um, not invested, but interested. OK, there you go. There you go. So I'm doing this thing. Um, it's a new thing that just came out in October. It's called uh, Wonderland with the time token. I don't know if you guys I'm going to get a little nerdy for you guys for a sec. Um, so it's called Wonderland. Basically, it's um, this right here. So uh, this is a time token. It's about 85. I don't. It's booming right now. It was 85. I think when I started it yesterday, it was around 78, 76. So I've already made a little bit off the, the coin itself. Um, but let me explain kind of what, how this works. So basically what you do is you have to go through this very long process of getting a time token. So you got to get on Coinbase. You got to buy like Avalanche. One sec. You got to buy Avalanche. You got to convert Avalanche to a time token. You got to put the time token into your MetaMask. You got to put MetaMask onto this Wonderland uh, site. Once you do that, you can basically, um, you can stake your crypto. Okay. And look at the fucking APY for this shit, dude. Look at the APY. Average per year, 71,000%. Okay. Just to give you some idea, this number right here was a dot one one earlier today. So it's a five day rate at 9%. This stuff, see, look, time staking, five hours, 37 minutes. It stakes three times a day. So if you look at this number, a dot one of a, of a TME price is around 15 bucks a day. And it's, it's compounding. So let me just show you guys the math really quick. This is where it gets really nerdy. Not for me. It's it's a lot of work. It takes like fucking 10 steps to get there. But I'm going to show you guys something really quick. So let's say you were to put in, and, and interest rates are more than likely, interest rates are more than likely going to change. Uh, but let's say for the sake of argument right now, they're the same. Okay, right? Let me move. Um, okay, I don't know if you guys can see all this. But you've got, oh, fuck, I'm going to have to move all this shit over. Anyway, I'm, I'm just not going to show some of this part. So it says principal amount up here at the top left. So you got a thousand bucks, annual interest rate, years of growth, start date, compounding frequency. It's every day. And that's if you just put a thousand dollars in, right? I'm just putting a thousand dollars in. This is going to look at the yield over a year. So as of this month, a thousand bucks. Second month, it's 17. Third month, two. 29. You're essentially becoming your own bank. 51. 87. 15,000, 26,000. So hypothetically in the next year, I'll have a, I'll have over half a million dollars from just staking this crypto. Who's paying you? Um, so what, what happens when you stake your crypto is you become like a bank. So I'm staking my crypto here and other people are using this token. Like they're almost, I'm almost like a lender in a sense, but I'm getting a, I'm getting a fucking crazy interest rate. There's another one that's called like the Ohm portal. They did it and they were doing shit up to like 144,000%, um, 70,000%. The well the risk is the risk is if this if this time token collapses, let's say hypothetically tomorrow the time token is it goes to zero. Um then I'm pretty much fucked because that means all the money I put in is completely gone and then I would have to pay capital gain taxes on all this so I'm basically paying taxes for losing money. So it wouldn't be the best. Um, and you have to pay a couple little bit a little bit of gas fees here and there, but the gas fees are minimal here. Um, it, it the min it's super super minimal. So what determines the time token? So let me pull up the time token price. But dude, I saw this and I was like, I'm doing it. And so I threw a thousand bucks in it. And it's like, if things go well in a fucking year I'll, or two years, I'll retire. Um, let me see. Time token. So here's the price of Wonderland right now, which is the time token. Um, let's see here. Can I see a market cap? Trading view. Here we go. Widget. Not a, fuck you. Okay, cool. So. Uh, let's do 30 days. So all time highs, probably 83. Let's do 90 days. So as you can see here, this is, this is before, um, it dropped. This is before it dropped. Okay. Right. This, uh, Wonderland dropped in, um, 
I think it was like October, mid-October. So it dropped like right here. So as you can see, staking went up and they're kind of hitting a, a resistance kind of at this 7, 8K mark. Uh, but 24 hours, it's it's kind of boomed. So I was in, I got in yesterday at around, what time did I get in yesterday? It was probably like, I don't know military time for shit. But I got in probably around this area. Around No, it was around 78. And so it's already went up to what? 84 right now so i've already made quite a bit and it's also doing the interest on top of that so i mean is there is there some is there some um risk in it yes but the risk is actually is very minimal compared to doing because here's the thing chat um let me read you what you guys are saying uh it's too good for it to be true it usually is matt you would think that i did a ton of research go do your own research though and this is legit as balls. Now, that 70,000% APY is not going to be the case for a full year. It'll probably last maybe four to five months, and then it's going to go down to like 7,000%. But this is the new wave of staking your crypto because you could become your own bank. Why do you think banks make so much money? It's because compound interest. Have you not heard Warren Buffett talk about this? He said the eighth wonder of the world is compound interest. We're going to get super nerdy. What term is I have no idea what determines time token. Uh, I have no idea. I think it's just Wonderland. Yeah, I do some Robinhood at the moment trying to expand my crypto, but I'm going to check out the Wonderland shit. Thanks for that info. El Shikano got you. Um, so, now, the likeliness that this is going to tank is very minimal just because of how well everything's doing right now. Their all-time low um, is 548, but the all-time high is 8,500. So, I mean, it could tank, but if I see it going in that direction, you can unstake your crypto at any time. You can literally just get the fuck out. Um, you can literally just get the fuck out at any time. So it's like, I'll just leave. If I see it tanking and just plummeting, then I'm going to just get out. But as of right now, bro, I've, I've already made close to $100 in a day from just doing this. And so if, if things go well, um, and a lot of people that I looked up online, they're like, they're like, this is legit. I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to retire in a fucking year or two. Because here's the thing. I'm late. We talking about Shiba? Ooh, no. Get rid of your Shiba. Sell Shiba sell it it's already been dumped sell it um because here's here's the way I, I was like if i want to get rich in the next year or two i can't do it by working would you guys agree i don't have enough money right now to buy a bunch of properties i could do the burr method and use other people's money um but that then you got to get in touch with investors and it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of effort i'm like what can i do with the least least amount of time and the least amount of effort um, El Chicano, do your own research. I'm not going to show you how to do it because I'm not trying to give you any financial advice. Do your own research. Um, do your own research. But he, here's here's the the three ways I was like, all right, I'm going to get rich. Good afternoon. Hey, what's up, buddy? But get on, get on YouTube. And I did a ton of research before I did it. And then once I found out, like a lot of these legit ass people that are talking about it are like, yeah, you need to get on this now before the APY goes down because it's not going to be this good for a while. So I'm like, I'm getting in this shit now. And it's only a thousand bucks, right? It's like a, a quarter, maybe a quarter of my portfolio in crypto. So here we go. What was good, Brady? It's good to see you. We're talking about Wonderland time token, but Sheba's tanked. So there was like three ways that I was like, uh, is this Wonderland app or it's on, um, it's not an app. You have to do it from the desktop. So there's three ways that I was like, all right, I can get rich in two years if I do this. Um, cause I don't want to trade a lot of time for money. So I could do the Burr method, which is basically you use other people's money to buy properties, which is, which is a good strategy, but it takes a lot of time. I have to get investors. I have to find the properties. I have to go through all that. And it takes a ton of time. Yeah, the money's good, but you may only close one deal every other month, which is maybe 10 grand every other month, which is which is not bad. That's 60K, but it's like, man, you know, eh. So I was like, cool. I'll get into real estate a little bit later when I have more money to manage my own properties. Great. Okay, I'm just going to wait for that. The other two methods were, are we going to day trade? Or are we going to uh, day trade with stocks? Or are we going to day trade with crypto, right? So I was like, okay, well, what the fuck am I going to do? And I was like, I looked into day trading with stocks. So above my head, I'm going to have to spend the next year. Um, Pre, it's good to have you out. Thanks for the follow. I'm going to have to do, spend the next year just researching everything. And then I tried day trading crypto. Crypto is so fucking volatile that it's like, it's so hard to make a good call and you have to be up at 3 a.m. every day to see what's going to be rising in the market because by about 9 to 11 a.m., 
shit's going to be, you know, it's going to be over. Get your realtor's license. I'm working on mine right now. So I was like, all right, doing that. And then I was like, okay, well, Warren Buffett talks about the eighth wonder of the world, which is compound interest. I was like, then I'm going to just start staking this crypto. If things go really south, I'm going to just pull my money out. Easy, light work. I'm not paying any crazy taxes on this. It's capital gain taxes, but that's really it. The gas fees are like cents. So I'm like, fuck, this is this is cash. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this. Because another another um app did this, Ohm, which is I think O A O H M. Yeah. They did this and it went really well for them. And then they kind of they they it started off really, really well and then it kind of went down a little bit and kind of leveled out. Um, yeah, see the, and it's like, it's in the red, but it's like it, the price fluctuation maybe was like 50 bucks. It's not like it was anything crazy. Um, uh, yeah, the top price was like what? 1171. Yeah. It's kind of been up and down, but Ohm did this and they're kind of more of a stable coin, but the, the people that did this, they are anonymous, but you can read all about it. So it's like, it's, it's super, it's, it's cutting edge. It's new and yeah, shiggity homes. So I was like, you know what? I want to get on it. I can afford to throw a thousand bucks at this. Uh, using the power of compound interest, if everything goes well, I can have, I'm going to be super pessimistic and say I can have $100,000 after one year. That's additional income. I already work and make around that much. So that's doubling my income and it's simply passive. I don't have to do anything to make this money. I don't have to do anything. It just sits there and it makes money. And so today I think I made around 15, 20 bucks and every day moving forward, it's going to be, so it's going to be like 15 bucks. The next day it'll be 16, the next day it'll be 19. And then, so, I mean, as you can see the numbers, it just, before you know it, like, boom, if, if everything, if this is the planets aligned and the, and the APY never changes, that's 679 grand after a year. Now the likeliness of that happening, I don't. I think there's maybe a quarter of a percent chance, maybe 25, or probably even less. But as of right now, it's working, and I've got on a ton of subreddits, and a lot of people have made. One guy was like, "I put in 18 grand. I waited a month, and he's like, I had 17 grand. I was like, holy shit. Now, do you know if you do you know if that shit's real? You don't. You gotta. Um, you gotta like you know. But no, I, I downloaded this um, this calculator. Like I watched this guy talk all the way through it. He was super nerdy. It was it was a it was a tough watch. I'll be real with you, but he came up with this calculator. It's a compound interest calculator, and um, I don't know. We'll see. I'm really hoping that it that it that it happens, and I can take that money and set myself up for a dank future. What side did you stake it on? Uh, you have to stake it on Wonderland, which is this site right here. Time staking. So see, look, it says five hours, seven, 37 minutes to next rebate, rebase. So basically like it, it, it does it three times a day. So three times a day, like at the beginning of the day, it was dot 11. Now the, the price of the coin is 8,500. The runway is how many days that they predict that the interest rate will stay the same and how long this is going to look like this. Once again, it's a prediction, but, and this is, look at the APY, 71,000%. Fucking shit. Um, but this is how banks make so much money. Compound interest. And then you can also, um, there's a website called Zapper. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that, but it's um, it's a dashboard for DeFi. And basically you can, you can link your MetaMask wallet and it'll show you kind of like all the exchanges you have, how much Ethereum you have, you know, and all the things that you have. So it shows me, it shows me my Wonderland balance and lets me know how much money I have, which is cool. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. I did as much research as I could. I, I didn't try to just go into it blindly, mainly because it takes like 15 steps to get to this point. Like you had to buy it on Coinbase and then you had to convert it to your MetaMask account. And then you got to go to Trader Joe and, and turn your avalanche into time. And then you got to put time. It, 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 so many things, so many things. But once I got it all figured out, I was like, okay, I got it. I'm going to see if I can make this work. And like flipping NFTs, thought about trying that um, which a lot of guys are doing that but it's eh, it's so difficult that you have to, and I wanted to be able to do something because here's a lot of the ways that the guys I, I watch they're like here's how to get rich 
you do a lot of work in the very beginning. You do a ton of work at the very beginning, and then you just let it run itself. I'm like, okay, that's what I want to do. Because I'm not, dude, I was trying to, I was on a day trade crypto. You know how volatile that shit is? You know how volatile that shit is? I would put in 200 bucks in something, and it would go up to 250 and then I refresh my page 10 minutes later, and it's at 170 I'm like, fuck. Like, how am I supposed to know when to sell? And the thing is about Coinbase, it doesn't have any sells or buys. It, it just, it's just fucking up and down. And I'm like, I basically, like, I made like, I, I made like maybe 30, 40 bucks on, I made like 30, 40 bucks on basic attention token. I made a few hundred on Shiba. Um, I probably made like 300 on Shiba and then on Decentraland. I could have made like $500, but I sold it too early. I bought it when it was 88 cents, and now it's like $3. So, what's up, Mr. Blue? How's it going? Yeah, I watch it every day. Driving me fucking crazy. Um, yeah, don't do not do that. And, and that, that was another thing, dude. I would go to sleep dreaming about crypto. I would go to sleep dreaming about it. And like like thinking about all the shit I would buy. And, you know, I saw this $23,000 a month place on South Congress. I was like, I'll fucking rent that out and have all the homies over and fucking do a live stream party and shit like that. And I'm like, bro, I got to get away from this shit. I need something that I can just make and it'll just create me passive income and then we're good. You know what I mean? Like, I, I was just, uh, it was just, it was too much. It was too much. And this, and the thing is, crypto's not going anywhere. I was talking to some of the people I work with today, some of my coworkers and um, some of, a lot of them are not into crypto. And I'm like, bro, you guys got to get into crypto get into it i'm like it's the way of the future like all the cryptos now are worth more than like i think all the banks combined it's crazy right now like get into crypto get into it what's the, what's the price of bitcoin right now what's the price of bitcoin Sixty-two thousand. you know what's fucked up dude let me show you some shit this doesn't show any uh Dude, the first time I bought, the first time I bought Bitcoin, guess what the price of Bitcoin was? I just put five dollars in. I put five dollars in. Guess what the price was? Just guess how much. Just just guess how much it was. It was the first time I ever bought Bitcoin. It was four thousand three hundred and seventy-eight dollars. If I would have just taken out a credit card and put ten bands on that, I would have two Bitcoin right now, and I'd have over a hundred grand. Could have paid off that credit card. Light work. I have over a hundred bands. I'd have two Bitcoin. I have dot o two of a bitcoin <laughs> i don't have shit for bitcoin <laughs> you know you're in the top one percent if you have 0.1 bitcoin did you know that you're in the top one percent it's crazy dude it's crazy dude so this is this is my strategy moving forward i have wonderland making me passive income i don't have to do anything to it it's just in there cooking and then I got Bitcoin because I know Bitcoin is never going anywhere. And apparently there's supposed to be a big ass bull run coming soon, which I'm hoping actually happens. Big ass bull run coming soon. So we'll see. But I keep my Wonderland up all day and then I just keep my Zapper, my Wonderland and my Zapper just to see like, okay, how much is it actually worth? But I'm hoping in a year, man, we'll be financially free. 100 bands ain't shit though in the real world. I would need 2 mil to invest. Uh, to, to be set for life, yeah. But if you took that 100 bands... And you put that in like an index fund. You put 25,000 of it in that. You put the other 25% in uh, crypto. You kept it in crypto. And you put the other 25% into uh, an S&P. And then you had the other 25, or 25% to like do something that was personally what you wanted to do. Maybe a business or something like that. Bro, be crazy. Hey, what's up, long time I remember when you and your girlfriend used to stream. I also remember having a channel of her own. How you guys been? Hey, I've been good, man. Bad boy, how you been? Uh, been saving for two years now. Just hey, hold on to your crypto, guys. Bad boy, she's doing good, man. She used to stream, but she kind of fell off of it. She wasn't a she wasn't a huge fan of it. It's a grind. It's a it's a grind. And um, 
it's it's a big grind. I think if she would have been making buku bucks, she would have stayed. But she was like really working her ass off, and she was making like as much as me. And she was like, "This is a lot of work." I'm like, "Yeah, it's, you got to stream for like four to six hours, and it's it's exhausting, especially if you want to be entertaining." You know what I mean, bro? If I was in Austin, I would try and leak. I need to shoot the shit more about this. Very from yeah, I got you, El Chicano, bro. Hit me up if you're ever in, ever in, dude. Um, I'm glad you've been good. It's a lot, no, no lie. And the thing is, dude, and, and I love Twitch and I love you guys, but I had to go, I had to go down to one week, one day a week because I was spending too much money trying to do shit on Twitch and it's not passive income. This is earned income. So you, you have to, you have to stream to make money. Nobody's going to donate to your stream. Yeah. See, and, and streaming is not for a lot of people. I actually love streaming, but I like doing it once a week. But Twitch is earned income. If one of these Twitch streamers gets hurt and they don't have a YouTube channel that like helps them support them passively, bro, you ain't making you ain't making no bucks. So I was like, all right, so you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start posting on TikTok five, seven times a day. I'm gonna talk about just relationships. That's gonna be my niche. Relationships, right? I've I've grown my YouTube quite a bit. I just do shorts. I don't even do I don't do the actual videos because you know why? Nobody watches the videos and they take so much fucking time to do. They take so much time, dude. Now, am I making a ton of money? No. I've got 32,000 views. You probably can't see that. 32,000 views, 97 watch hours, four subscribers, 90 cents. Big baller. But I average around 2,600 to almost 3,000 views every two days. And that's 32,194 views in the last month. That's way better than it was in the past. Way better than it was in the past. 90 cents, bro. 90 cents for 30,000 views. Ninety cents. It's a lot, man. You gotta get like a million views to make like a thousand bucks. Or maybe a little more than a thousand bucks. It's a lot of views, man. But that counts in the views that you get in that month, right? It's it's a lot, man. It's a lot. So I'm like, all right, I got to steadily just build this up. I got to steadily just build this up. And so if you look at the numbers, right? So I started taking this shit pretty serious in, um, let's just do the last 90 days. I started taking this shit pretty serious in um, the end of August, right? Or kind of mid-August. You see I'm getting some traction. A couple videos peaked. Boom, boom, boom. Kind of stayed a little stagnant. Other ones kind of peaked. Boom, boom, boom. Kind of up. So it's kind of ish, but I mean, it's it's... It's somewhere, right? I've made five bucks, almost six dollars in the past 90 days. You don't really make that much on YouTube. People think like, oh my God, he makes, you can make so much money on YouTube. Yeah, if you're getting fucking 10 million views a day, then you can be a millionaire. You can't even, ca here's the thing with Google AdSense, let's get even nerdier. With Google AdSense, you can't even cash out until you've got a hundred bucks. My Google AdSense sent me an email the other day. It's like, hey, we're going to deactivate your account because you haven't cashed out in two months. <laughs> so it's, I'm just like, okay, cool. They're like, once you make enough money, you can reactivate it. But I've got like, I think my balance is like 11 or $12. But that, I mean, that's what, it's what it is, dude. Um, CJ, you're right. They make it from sponsors. They make it from brand deals. They do other shit. You know what I mean? But that's why it's like I need to I need to build up the brand first. So I need to be like I need to be posting consistently. So I take at least one or two of the TikToks I do. What's up, Polar Dreams? I take about one of the two of the TikToks I do a day. And I've been getting more followers on fucking TikTok than I've getting subs on YouTube. So it's like TikTok is a great outlet. It's a great outlet. I'll get two to three followers on average a day. I'm only at 527, but shit, it's a grind. You know what I mean? All it takes is one video to go viral and then boom. Uh, yeah, yeah, yo, y'all need to run me that $12. This is some spicy nug and fry shit, bro. You probably get a Coke with that too. Um, but yeah, man, that's just, just really the goal is to try to, you know, try to get as many different revenue streams going. So we got Twitch, which is earned income. We got YouTube passive. We got Wonderland, which is passive. We got my job, which is earned. Um, and so it's just having multiple revenue streams, hopefully buy a house soon. That'll be something that will pay off and rent out eventually. So, and the, the music, which is passive income. I, even though I don't make a ton from music, probably barely anything, to be honest with you, it's maybe a dollar or two a month just because it takes, once again, hundreds of thousands. It takes like 
to make like four grand, you have to have a million streams. A million streams to make four thousand dollars. So that's, if you get a million streams a month, that's four grand. <laughs> Stream more and invested invested again into IRL. <laughs> I mean, I could. Paper Eating Rock, it's a great... I hey, appreciate the 300 biddies. It's a great... Um, it's, it's a great idea. But IRL is expensive, man. And I was I was looking at the numbers. I was like, I'm spending more doing IRL than I'm making. I wasn't even like... I wasn't even breaking even. You miss it? I'll, I'll have to start doing it. I'll have to start doing it more. Because honestly, there's a little bit of me that misses it. But also, it's like... It gets to a point where... Here's the, here's the reason why IRL became kind of more of a headache than it did something that was fun. The only way to be really entertaining IRL is being a troll. Come on, focus you bitch, focus you bitch. Okay, one sec, maybe we, we need more light. Okay, there we go. Um, the Really the only way to be entertaining as an IRL streamer is you gotta be a troll. And you gotta fuck with people. And we talked about this the other day. It's just really not sustainable because if you're trolling people and that's your brand, then when people watch you, they feed into the troll. The crate challenge was good. Not true, but you really do have to rely on the donos. Exactly. In Paper Eating Rock, why do people donate? Controversy. Drama. If you're just being wholesome, people don't really donate. Be honest. With be re I mean, just be real. You, got, you guys know. You guys know what's going on. It's content. Drama, content, controversy. That's what people want. It's just, it's hard to sustain that, which I guess could be an excuse, but you gotta you gotta be weary of the brand that you build because then you get stream snipers and then it's like, look what happened to Ice. Like, it, it really fucked him up in the long run because he did so many controversial things that he, he like garnered this community of kind of toxicity and then basically his own people turned on him, which is fucked up. But it's like, they're like, well, you would do that. And it's like, you lead by example kind of type thing. Um, it's crazy. Yeah, you really took initiative with the Great Challenge. If you would have tried even a week later, it would have been as big a hit. You memed at the right time. Yes, I did. And so that's that's the thing is, is taking trends and being like, hey, let me hop on that. I'll do that. Um, so... I just, I just noticed what happened to Ice, and I noticed what... Ice was at the top and spiraled into a deep depression. The Great Challenge stream was fun as fuck. Yes, it was. Um, but, like, Ice is to the point now. He got a big check and balance, but making strong comeback. Yeah, he is. Well, he's set for life. He doesn't even need to work. 30 million? 30 million? That's more than Giannis makes in a season. Like, bro, come on. Be real with yourself. 30 million? The dude's doing whatever he wants. Do it. He's doing whatever he wants. Um... But I, I seems like he's in a dark spot. I don't, I don't see him streaming. I don't really see him doing anything. Kim broke up with him. He's in Austin. He doesn't really have like I've hit him up multiple times to hang out. Doesn't hit me back. Like I don't know if he has any real homies that he kicks it with. So it's like he's just kind of stuck. He's just kind of stuck, and it's like it just really sucks for him because he's a good dude deep down. But it just the people that have been around him have leached on him so hard that now that they don't have anything to get from him, they don't even want to be around him. Like, look at all the people he, he paved the way for. The word scuffed, like, fucking train wreck uses that. Train wreck didn't come up with that fucking word. Uh, goblin. That's what they called ice, and now they call, uh, what's his name? XQC that. It's like, they just stole it, and then they don't give him any credit. And now that he's not on Twitch, basically he's just forgotten. So it's just like, it just sucks, man. True El Chicano. If if you're a fucking idiot, you could you could squander you could squander any bit of money. I agree with that. You could squander any bit of money. But they moved on. He's not on Twitch, so they're like, okay, great. Competition's out. And they're gonna they're gonna look at look at look at how financially set Miskiff is. Look at how financially set train wrecks is. Like these dudes are making copious amounts of money. They're making so much money. They're gonna be set for the rest of their lives. So they get on, they get on stream, and they make ten grand a day. It's like, if he worked super hard, do you think Ice could come back? As long as he's not on Twitch, I don't think so. The community's not there. I don't know if I, I just don't, and maybe I don't understand it well enough because I haven't been in the game long enough. But 
I've I've seen some stuff of Doctor Disrespect talk about this, and he's like basically he's like he's like the money is about a third of what I would make on Twitch. It's a third. So Dr. Disrespect was probably making over a hundred grand a month. Easy probably on Twitch. He's making now 30K a month. Which is still good. But if think about if you had a wife, you had a house, you had bills, you had all your expenses, and you're living the life of I make a hundred grand a month, and that gets cut by 70%, and now it's 30 grand a month. That is substantial. That's like if you guys made four grand a month and now you're living off one grand. That's a big step down. That's a big step down. You know what I mean? So when you think about it just kind of in a, like a percentage way, like Dr. Disrespect is probably making, he's probably making 100 grand a month. Easy. 50,000 viewers, dude. All those subs, all the, come on, dude. And, and exactly, Muckbank. Uh, Interaction Jackson, I agree. He doesn't. It, it just seems like uh, it, it, he might have stained his reputation, but it's like I think anybody can come out of a rabbit hole. Anybody can do that. But think about cutting your income by seventy-five percent. That's really drastic, dude. I mean, look at eight. He's doing fine. That kid's making a million dollars a month. He's doing fine, dude. Two and a half million a month. This kid is making buku bucks. And he's a degenerate. I think Aiden's a piece of shit. I see his content. I think he just gets rappers in a room. He does what Ice did. Gets famous people in a room. Except I don't think he's as good as leading the charge. Like I think I think Ice is ser seriously the king. But I, I don't like Aiden Ross. Uh, I think he's a degenerate. But he's making so much fucking money. Who cares? He's going to be set for the rest of his life. It's like he doesn't squander it. Um, but... I, the only way Ice is going to make a huge comeback, how much you say? He's probably making around a million or two a month. Easy. Like, you don't understand how much these streamers make. Did y'all not see the, the the leaked papers, dude? These streamers are making insane amounts of money. I think Nick Merckx in the past three years made five mil. That's insane. Yeah, you're right. It's not always about the money, but money's a great fucking motivator. If somebody was paying you five mil to do something, he was offered one to two million a month from one spot. See what I'm saying? So it's like, it's crazy. So it's, it's, and, it, and like, as much as I love, as much as I love Twitch, it's just, it's tough because it's earned income. You have to be live. Yeah, he got millions from a gambling sponsor deal. Yeah, he was getting 100K in live views. Now he's getting put 20, getting what, 20K views? I just did the crypto thing so he could get a stimulus and not have to stream. Uh, Interaction Jackson, uh, yeah, he straight up rug pulled the shit out of that. And I mean, I, mean, I, I love Ice to death, but he straight up, he pumped and dumped hard, bro. Like, he pumped and dumped hard. You want to see what a pump and dump looks like? This is CX coin. Love ice. Love ice to death, but he pumped and dumped. Boom. Yoink. That is a pump, and there's the dump. Let me show, let me show you save the kids token. This is what FaZe, FaZe K and all those guys got in trouble for. This is what Phase K and all those guys got in trouble for. Let me show you another pump and dump. The pump and then the dump. Well, this is kind of actually up on its way a little bit, but I mean, it's never going to hit this. It's never going to hit 160K in volume. Is it like what? 911, $307? Like, bro, come on. That's called a le pump and le dump. It's a rug pull. Yeah, he, pre he, he pumped, he made money on a pre sale and he dipped. He even talked about it on stream that he was going to do it. Um, insane, man, but that's his followers. Did him super dirty. Yep. Yep. And see, Sam Pepper's gone. You don't even know where that guy is. Just what happened with Sheba. Yep. Just what happened to the Squid Game coin. Look what happened to Squid Game coin. Hyped the shit out of it and just like, it's gone. You know what I mean? It's gone. 
it's over. So, I mean, it just it is. You just gotta watch. You just gotta watch it, man. You gotta watch it. Igloo somewhere in Greenland, bro. Pumping, yeah, dude. Uh, listen, where is? It's like when's when's he? Okay, before we get into that rabbit hole, I wanna I wanna just see when the last time Ice even streamed. Like, when is the last time he streamed? Is the Miami boat party a month ago? Wow, he's not streaming at all, dude. Miami boat party, and then before that was three months ago. Did a couple streams. Moises, Gary. He's not streaming at all right now, though. Like he, the man is completely falling off. He's not even on Twitter. When was his last tweet? Um. June 27th, 2020, October 27th, not in my elevated socks, no, but if any girl meets a crime, I'd gladly say yes. Word of advice for all content creators, never going against a mob, you'll never win. You create your own reality, attempting to explain yourself to people who don't want to listen to you, negative energy towards you, I'm an expert in this. The kind people at Ape Knots are doing giveaway with five airdrops, each worth $300, come at your sole address. They deleted their socials and didn't hound out the mints. It's really unfortunate. Sorry for anyone who wanted into these guys. Crypto market is dangerous. I feel pretty stupid for promoting this. And it's like, it's just L after L after L. And you get fucking sick of it after a while. This lawyer probably told him to, to lay low. Probably. He's been weird for, I, I don't get it. I think he's been over streaming for a while. I don't think I've seen ice stream. Yeah. Very Paul, the recent CoffeeZilla videos with Rubet. No, I haven't. Ice and Sam off on an island together celebrating them wins. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it's fucked up to say, but. All right. Let's get off, let's get off the drama. Um, I saw Moises looking at this metaverse shit. I want to see more about this because I don't know shit about it. I, like, I don't know anything about this metaverse shit. Wait a minute, there's a six minute. I wanna watch the shorter one. He tweeted another pump and that's what I'm saying. Like, you can only shit on your community so many times before they're like, dude, fuck you. You're pumping and dumping. Like I would never do that. Even if I knew I could make a ton of money, like that karma comes back ten fucking fold, man. Shit comes back tenfold. To encompass everything that we do, to reflect who we are and what we hope to build. Good God, I, hate I am him. proud to announce that starting today, our company is now Meta. Our mission remains the same; it's still about bringing people together. Did you know that he 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 didn't look at the trademark? And there's another company called Meta. Meta PCs. They make PCs. Our apps and their brands—they're not changing either. And we are still the company that designs technology around people. Hey, and welcome to Connect. Today, we're gonna talk about- Why does he have to be the face of everything? He looks like a fucking robot. About the metaverse. Starting with the most important experience of all, connecting with people. He's basically just taking all that virtual reality shit and being like, oh, we, we did this. Imagine. You put on your glasses or headset for real, instantly in your home space. It has parts of your physical home recreated virtually. It has things that are only possible virtually. And it has an incredibly inspiring view of Freddy whatever you shit. find most beautiful. Hey, are you coming? Yeah, just got to find something to wear. Uh, uh, why, does his, why does his avatar look more right, human than him? Perfect. Boy. Oh, hey, Mark. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Hi. Mark. What's up, Mark? Whoa, we're floating in space? Uh -huh. Who made this place? It's <laughs> awesome. Right? It's from a crater. I met in LA. Uh, this place is amazing. <laughs> Boz, is that you? Of course it's me. You know I had to be the robot, man. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to be the robot. <laughs> oh, wow. He's joking about him being a fucking robot. I knew you were bluffing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait. Where is Naomi? 
Let's call her. Naomi. <laughs> hey, should we deal you in? Sorry, I'm running late, but you've got to see what we're checking out. There's an artist going around Soho hiding AR pieces for people to find. 3D street art? That's cool. Send that link over so we can all look at it. This is stunning. Okay, that is something. That's awesome. Wow. Oh, I love the movement. Wait, it's it's disappearing. This is amazing. Hold on. I'll tip the artist and they'll extend it. Wow. I'll tip the artist and they'll extend it. Need to be built into the metaverse from day Damn. one. Damn. You'll get to decide when you want to be with other people. When you want to block someone from appearing in your space or when you want to take a break and Go teleport outside, to a that. private <laughs> bubble to be alone. You're going to be able to bring things from the physical world into the metaverse. Almost any type of media that can be represented digitally, photos, videos, art, music, movies, books, games, you name it. You know, lots of things that are physical today, like screens, will just be able to be holograms in the future. You won't need a physical TV. It'll just be a $1 hologram from some high school kid halfway across the world. And you'll be able to take your items and project them into the physical world as holograms and augmented reality too. One part of this is Horizon Ooh, Home, shit. which is our early vision for a yeah, home exactly. space in the metaverse. Home. Horizon, home. Horizon Home is the first thing that you'll see when you put on your Quest headset. Today, there are already a bunch of options to choose from, and in the future, anyone will be able to create one. We've just called it home until now because it's been missing something very important, people. Soon, we're going to be introducing a social version of home, where you can invite your friends to join you as avatars. You'll be able to hang out. Bro, this is taking catfishing to a whole new level. Watch videos together and jump into apps together. Yeah, one dollar hologram, then, get the fuck out of here. There is Horizon Worlds which is where you can build worlds and jump into them with people. Dude, this is like Ready Player One. Everybody lives in like a shit shack, but then they clock in here and they're like, oh, my house is badass. I live in fucking Calabasas. Horizon is designed to make it possible for everyone to create. And we're already seeing people build some really interesting experiences from creating new games together to throwing surprise parties in VR that family and friends around the world can join. Over the last year and a half, a lot of us who work in offices have gone remote. And while I miss seeing the people I work with, I think remote work is here to stay for a lot of people. So we're going to need better tools to work together. Let's take a look a at what working crew. in the metaverse will be like. Out in the middle of Imagine the if you could be at the office without the commute. You would still have that sense of presence, shared physical space, those chance interactions that make your day all accessible from anywhere. Oh, what's up, Tall Kyle? How now you doing, baby? It's good to see you. That you have your perfect you kiss right now, okay. And you can actually do about, more than in the metaverse. your regular work setup. And on top of all that, you can keep wearing your favorite sweatpants. Fucking ads. Sweatpants. You sack of shit. Fucking ad. Everybody say what's up to Tall Kyle, man. Right, let's get back into this metaverse shit. I'm trying to, I'm trying to learn Wait, a little bit here. We've heard your feedback more broadly. We're working on making it so you can log into Quest with an account other than your personal Facebook account. We're starting to test support for work accounts soon, and we're working uh, on making a broader shift okay, here what is within this? the next year. I know this is a big deal for a presence platform. What presence the fuck platform, is this? Which is a broad range of machine perception and AI capabilities that empower developers to build uh, mixed reality experiences on Quest Is this dude, is this dude fake? Presence platform? Yeah, we've said before that realistic presence is the key to feeling connected in the metaverse. Uh, and the presence platform's capabilities are what's gonna deliver on that promise. Things like environmental understanding, content placement and persistence, voice interaction, standardized hand interaction. Exciting. But next year, we are releasing a new product that'll push the bound real time. This way people, you're in a- Before we can what hit the, the price points that we target with Quest. All right, so let's talk about some of the new advances here. Yeah, sure. There's a ton of new tech going into Cambria. For example, your avatar will be able to make natural eye contact and reflect your facial expressions in real time. This way, people you're interacting with will have a, a real sense of how you're actually feeling. It does mean building more sensors into a form factor that's comfortable to wear for a while. And because we want VR to be for everyone, we also have to make sure avatars represent a diverse set of human facial features and skin tones, as well as paying attention to things like the same. Like, um, Fuck around. What do you mean? That may get in all the, the way motherfuckers of some are the, the same. So that's going to be a big step forward for social presence. People are building for 
or you know, you're doing a workout with a virtual instructor in your living room. It's gonna be so cool. We're already seeing the potentials of these kinds of experiences today as people are building. What, what you don't know is you gotta wear a big fucking clunky ass headset. Minted reality glasses. The table and you're off. Well, this That's is mixed reality. Experience that augmented, augmented reality, reality will unlock. There's a lot of technical work to get Bro, this. Bro, this shit, this, this shit ain't coming in the next year. When the fuck is this shit supposed to actually be live? Like, when is... Uh, when, when is this supposed to be live? When is this supposed to be live? You know what I mean? 20, tw tw yeah, 2200. Come on, bro. If you, if you identify as an attack helicopter, you can actually be one. You can work out while watching a trainer like what a TV does. Like, dude, I, I love it, but it's also scary because it's Ready Player One type shit. It's Ready Player One type shit so much. It's... <laughs> It's so ready player one. Like people won't even people won't even want to go outside anymore because they'll be like, bro, I'll just meet you in the metaverse. You know what I mean? I'll just meet you in the I'll meet you in the verse because nah, hey man, just just meet me in the verse. No, 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 no. I don't I don't want to go out. Let's just go to the metaverse club. Come on. I got you guys. Don't even trip. I got you guys. We'll just we'll just go to we'll just go to the metaverse. Okay? Just hey, chill out, chill out. Just meet you in the metaverse. A cyber pandemic? Dude, think about porn, man. Oh my god, the porn's gonna be so good. Sorry, did I say that out loud? <laughs> like, oh my god, fuck it looks real, dude. People are just gonna sh start strapping gelatin fucking titty cups on the walls and just be like, oh fuck, dude, god, it's that good, man, fuck. Oh, I just got this little, I just got a Pringles can, put a latex glove on it, and lubed it up, I'm just gonna... Fuck the shit out of it. Oh, it's scary, man. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. Don't don't get it don't get it twisted. That shit's kind of cool, but it's also a little scary at the same time. Because if people start putting latex gloves and Pringle cans, lubing them up, and fucking the finger holes, you never know. You never fucking know. They got better technology than that, bro. Yeah, right? Well, don't you have to wear like an Oculus or some shit? You wear like an Oculus? Mark Zuckerberg's Oculus Final, work. A comprehensive metaverse online master looks painful. certification in cybersecurity that takes you from a beginning. Take you from... This week, uh, Mark Zuckerberg was hyping up some sort of um, big Facebook announcements. Uh, and, you know, guess... Bro, I'm going to be real with you. I don't trust anybody whose eyebrows automatically look mad. He automatically looks mad. Why do you look like somebody drew those on and you're just mad? He's permanently mad. You know when you accidentally, like, you're drawing a smiley face and you put that slant just a little too far in? He just looks mad. Like, he can't look happy. This range from, they're shutting the site down, haha, to uh, some other product they're rolling out. Um, it's Dude, you need to do something. That is, look at mine. Look at mine. Normal. Look at his. Why are, is he Greek? Instead, the end result was... He looks like Mario's son. Zuckerberg um, going on, I think, CBS to be interviewed. If this is just you talking, I'm out. You would need everybody in your company or everyone doing this meeting to own a uh, Oculus VR set. All right, I'm already over this, dude. You would need everybody in your company <laughs> to own an Oculus VR set. <laughs> Shut up, dude. His shit is waxed or something like, bro. His shit was like, fuck. He just looked indefinitely mad. Like, why are you looking? Why you look like that? Why does one doth look like this? I don't get it, dude. I got called out. I was in, I was in a when I moved because I use my webcam for work, and um, in the early in the mornings I'll put like the blue light on, and it'll be like nice and you know the lighting will be really sexy in here, you know. And one of my coworkers was like, "Is that a green screen?" And I'm like, no, it's not a fucking green screen. And they're like, that looks like a green screen. I was like, no. And so I go touch the plant over there, and they're like, oh, my fucking God, that's not a green screen? I'm like, no, it's not a fucking green screen. What do you mean? They legitimately thought it was a damn green screen. This is white light. Ooh, this is kind of sexy. I haven't done the white light in a minute. Um, But, yeah, they, they 
thought my background was a green screen, but it's definitely not. I added this little table over here with this little fake plant, like two big ass hawk wings on his forehead. If he's just gonna bitch about how an Oculus Rift or Oculus, what is it? Oculus Quest Two, is that what it is? My coworkers are all younger than me, dude. It's crazy. Okay, Mark, the Quest Two is a great value. I mean, they they look cool. You know what I mean? So this week, starting from the 24th of August, Oculus Quest 2s and... He uses a DSLR, no doubt. Now available to... How much is an Oculus Quest 2? I'll be real with you, I kind of want one. I mean, I'll be real, they kind of look fun. Fuck, man, I wish I could sell, but I haven't gotten paid. It's all right, Icoa, fuck me, right? It's whatever, dude. Fuck me, right? I'm just kidding, bro. Don't worry about it. You ain't got a sub. How much? How much is an Oculus Quest? To how much? How much is this hoe? Two ninety nine. Fuck. Um. Damn. That's a lot. The three. They still three hundred dollars. Only got six gigs of memory. Fuck. You out of your mind. Uh. Shit. I'm going to Craig's. Let's go to Craig's list. Fuck what you mean, boy. <laughs> Lunar, what task do you um, perform at your job? Um, I am in sales. Oculus Quest. Here we go. Bo -bo Virtual reality. This motherfucker's trying to charge three seventy-five, bro. I can get a new one for three hundred, boy. These people want $400 for an Oculus? Like, are you out of your fucking mind? Okay, this one doesn't look bad. 275 Is it used? I have this Oculus Quest for sale. Works good with charger. Or 275 or best offer. No trades. Credit card payment accepted. Si habla espanol. Ask for Al. Up in Puflugerville. Dude, I give you, I give you, I give you two hundred. I give you, I give you two hundred. <laughs> Fuck all that. Let's go to eBay. I mean, I'm just not about, dude. I'm not about to pay three hundred dollars for this shit. Uh, they make your house cost two ninety nine. Yeah, bro. They make your TVs cost a dollar. Yeah, Lunar. Uh, um, let's see, Oculus Quest. The Quest Two is the newest one, right? I've heard everybody that buys them, like, they, they use them for a few days, and then they're like, eh, I'm fucking over it. I mean, they're they're a cool little gadget, right? Uh, honestly, I would, I could probably, ooh, shit, what it do, loner boy? What's up, baby cakes? How you doing, baby girl? What's up, baby? <laughs> Go on Wish, fam. Oh, my God, bro. Get an offer up. Get a fucking uh, uh. Get on, get on Wish, get on fucking Wish and buy an Oculus 2. Oh my god, dude. Y'all are fucking clowns. Oh wow, okay, this is actually much cheaper. Let's sort by uh, low to high. Oculus Quest 2, $90. How beat to fuck is this thing? Three of you music, it's good to have you out. Thanks for the follow, it's good to see you. How you doing? Oh my god, they sell new ones as well, bro. VR porn, bro, I need me some VR porn, brah. This is not bad. 90 bucks, normal wear. Do you, I mean, do you have any pictures? Instant finance, 24. Oh my god. I just feel like this is a sham. $90, bro? $90, bro? Are these ones that they bought in like... You know what I mean? How much? How much would you got? How much would you guys pay for one of these? Be real. Put in the chat how much you would pay for an Oculus Quest Two. Brand new, three hundred. How much would you guys pay? How much would you? It looks like somebody stole a bunch of them and they're just trying to sell them now. Those are kind of. Those are a little bit scat choppy around, yeah. 50 bucks? 
49.99. This motherfucker put the the cents that he would pay as well. I'd play tax. It'd be it'd be 50.08 with tax. This motherfucker. Let's see here. They got. I would actually pay 49.47, and it would be 49.53 with tax. Um, <laughs> fucking goddamn it. Well, I did ask, so I guess he said. What is this? Oculus Quest 2. Bro, what the f- Look at this shit. Bro, what? There's crust on this. There's cr- there's dirt and crust all on this. What the f- In a dirty chair? Like, do these people not think about the picture that they take this in? This dirty shit, dirty chair, doo-doo stained, like, bro, what the fuck? People really don't understand the, the the concept of like see this dude this dude understood the assignment. Good pictures. Now the lighting's a little shit. I don't want RGB lighting, but I mean I appreciate that. But like that at least looks good. You know what I mean? That doesn't look like trash. Bro, I just got a new job making fifty five K, no longer working in IT. Nice dude. Now, I appreciate the sub. Shout out to Deadshot. Shiggity's in the chat for Deadshot. Thank you, sir. It's good to have you out. No longer working IT. Why, well, hey, man? Good job on getting the new gig, man. I'm proud of you, dog. Good shit, homie. Cheeto and Eminem Dust. <laughs> What's up, Madeline? How you doing, baby girl? It's good to see you. Let's see some of these other ones, dude. Hutto. This motherfucker want $400 for it, bro. Are you out of your fucking mind, dude? You want me to pay $400? Look at, look at the socks. It's the, it's the shoes for me. I can't trust no man that wears Athletic Works 4s. With the little bit of wear and tear, the little crust on that. What is it? Is this a table? Like, those are the Athletic Works 4s. And who stands like that anyways? Your kneecaps look weird. I can't buy that shit from you. Is this your grand... Is this on your bed? You couldn't get the other shit out the frame? Really? A what, what, uh, hundred pack of gloves, of internet cable. Are you just selling everything? He's got the old... Dude, do not trust this guy. He's got that old lion rug. He's got that old lion rug. Does it look like this motherfucker can afford a fucking Oculus? Powder? Why does this man have... What the fuck? Dude, some of these just... I don't know, man. What was the other website? What, Wish. Let's see if Wish has got it. He's got... Y'all, dude, y'all know that old lion rug. You cannot trust that old lion rug for shit. That's what I'm saying, dude. Way too many coomers. There's no way you can buy a used Oculus, bro. A used Oculus? Like, come on, man. <laughs> These motherfuckers, dude. It's like, dude, do you not know how to take like, do you not know how to take like good pictures? Like, bro, look at this shit. Look at this shit. You expect me, you expect me to buy this and put this on my face when it's on your crusty ass, dirty floor next to a cur- like a straightening iron? Like, bro, who's paying two twenty for that? What? Why'd you put it on the carpet? You don't have like a table you could put it on? You know what I mean? You, you know what I mean, chat? Like, do these guys not understand like product placement and, and it making it look nice? Like, what the actual? I'm trying to find the worst ones. Oh, what is this? Round Rock. Okay. Bro, you want two eighty five? It's two ninety nine new. What is this? What is all this schmaltz right here? Oh, okay. I thought that was dirt. It's like, good God. You got the inside of the fucking box dirty. This dude wants 175. This one still cracks me up. <laughs> Look at this dirty shit. <laughs> Bro, who's fucking buying this? Look at all the schmaltz. Nobody's buying that. HTC Vive for the win. What the fuck is that? HTC Vive. What the fuck is that? 
Let's see here. Bro, some of these, I'm like, bro, what the fuck is going on? Okay, this guy actually has okay presentation. Okay. See, look, this is much better. A nice hardwood table. Even if it is on the floor, uh, the box is chewed up a little bit, a little questionable. No schmaltz. He looks like he cleaned it off, wiped it down. No dandruff on the headgear. Overall, looks like I would buy that, but for two fifty, no. I get a brand new one for forty dollars more, and I gotta pay shipping and handling from San Diego. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Like some of these people, I'm like, do you not like pricing competitively? That shit needs to be two hundred at the most. Two hundred at the max. Nobody's going to pay close to full price for this shit. Especially nobody's going to pay over full price for this shit. People just be cracking me up. This dog's been playing with it. Yeah, you buy it on Wish, you're going to see a Sega VR from 19, 1989. <laughs> HTC Vive. Let me see what this fucking shit is. HTC Vive. What the fuck? Oh, this is vintage. Is this old school 3D virtual reality? Okay, cool. Does it come with remotes or anything? Oh, it's got like the earpieces in it. Uh, I mean, it looks comfy. I'll be real with you. It looks comfy. Overall, five stars. We love it. For nine thousand dollars, you can get you can get an HTC Vive. I am not paying seven fifty for that. Dude. It's too much with supply chain issues. Are there any brand new headsets in stock right now? I'm not too sure. Um, I'm really not too sure. Uh, that is a really, really good question. But I mean, these Oculuses, I'll be real with you, like they look kind of tight. Let, let me just, let me see some Oculus gameplay real quick. Cause I've, I've, I've used them a couple times, you know, man. Oculus Quest uh, 2 gameplay. Like, let me see some, like are the games even at cool? Best games for an Oculus, let's peep. Let's peep. What happened to PlayStation VR? Did they just give up on it? I mean, it seems like it. I don't know. Fuck your intro. Action shooter. Superhost. Okay, this one is cool. This one's cool. Experience is only enhanced. I've seen, I've seen the this one. The concept is simple. Put yourself directly in the environment, just in case you really want to give your audience a different perspective of the gameplay. To yeah, see, that, this one's kind of tight. This one's kind of tight. I, this one's kind of cool. Like, I, I would actually fuck with this one. It's all very confusing, but Boneworks offers plenty of action with a Ooh, variety of weaponry. That's kind of tight. Along with a nice set of physics puzzles that make up an actually fairly lengthy 10-hour storyline. The traversal and speed oh, shit. Get a okay. Wee bit okay. 10 hour storyline. Okay. So definitely take it easy. You can get Boneworks through Steam VR and play on your Oculus via a link cable or virtual desktop. You play as a detective in 1908 London, uncovering a dark mystery set up by the craftsman. The puzzles are intricate and give you a real family. sense of accomplishment when you. Is this all? Is this like all they got? Like, I want to see the VR. Um... Like I want to see them do like a map. Can't you do maps? Like virtually stunning worlds. Pretty hard Can't. to believe that this is not a video of Horseshoe Bend in Arizona, isn't it? This is in fact a virtual reality experience. Whoa. Hmm. Yep, this is a virtual reality experience. You can even throw rocks off the side of the cliff and watch them fall all the way down <laughs> there. Right over there, you can see him flying around. This and that this is kind of cool. Oh, and you can pick different landmarks. There, how fast the wind was, the temperature, all that stuff. Now let's head over to Iceland. Now listen to that. Look at the flowers swaying in the breeze right there. Grass all over the ground. Ooh, that's kind of a trip. I kind of like is that. Freaking Turn it back to date. I thought there was one where you could pretty much travel anywhere. Like you but could go this? anywhere you wanted. You just this. typed in. Wait, can you walk? This would be an amazing place to see the sun or the stars. Let's check it out. Oh wow! Now we've made our way. To Ooh, the bird's not happy with me. Whoa! Wow, look at this rock. What a weird rock. You're not happy with me, bird. You didn't want me to do that. Wow. 
well, you would need a fucking omnisphere for that though. Like, you know what I mean? Like the omnispheres that like, or that bi-directional or whatever, tri-directional and you can walk in any direction. The VR omnidirectional treadmill. So this is what you would need. Oh my God, this motherfucker. Oh God. These motherfuckers have so much money. Probably one of those, because today we're going to take a look at the very first VR omnidirectional treadmill or slide mill, I suppose, and look at everything good and everything bad about the Catwalk C. And we're going to see what this thing actually is. Five foot ten. And you can remove all of the pads for what cat how you'd imagine. Walking using the catwalk was extremely odd. Hey, Brady, Rocky, 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 300. Have you done a beat on the fly type stream? Play your new, play your stuff, new soon. stuff soon. Oh, have you done a beat on the fly type stream? Play your new stuff soon. Oh, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't made a beat. I, dude, I haven't made a beat in years. Um, I haven't made a beat. Appreciate the, appreciate the, the biddies. Paper eating rock. I mean, shit. If y'all wanna, if y'all want to play the new tune, put a, put a fucking shiggity in the chat. I'll play the new tune. I'll play a new tune, boy. I don't give a damn. Put a shiggity in the chat. I'll play that shit right now. It's whatever you guys want, big dog. Shiggity in the motherfucking chat. I will play that. I will play that damn. Okay. I will play the new single right this second. Fuck it. Let's run it. Let me pull it up for you guys. Let me pull it up for you guys. By the way, this drops on Friday. Fuck with that. That's the new one, boys. That's the new one, boys. So your course is just be lit. I'm t hey, you boy. Hey, I, I can fuck up a chorus, bro. I can fuck up a chorus, dude. I just know. I know. I just know what sounds good. I just know what sounds good. I just know what sounds good. And like that. Is money of the is the money of the song exactly? The chorus is the main part of the song, so I'm gonna be probably dropping. I was gonna do like shit. I might start dropping a new single every fucking week at this point, just because I've been I've been kind of in my flow state and things have been going well, and so just make sure that you guys go run that shit up when it does drop on um 
on motherfucking Friday, boy. So, yeah. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it's kind of going to like a more, I guess I kind of sound country. Um, but it's kind of, that's kind of like, that's kind of me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really sound street. You know, or I, I don't know what, what you want to call it, but that's just, that's kind of me. That's the way I sound. So that's the way that it, and when I started singing, that's just the way it came out. And so I was like, all right, well, this is the way it's going to be, I guess. That's the way it's going to be. So I've got, um, exactly. That's just, that's just a boy's flavor. So it's just, it is what it is. And it ain't what it ain't. But I got another beat, I think, that I'm going to be working on here pretty soon. I'll show you guys the beat. Because, you know, I just, I grabbed these beats. I think this is it. No, that's the other one. So this is going to be the new one. I'll preview, I'll preview the beat for you guys. This one, just wait. I'm going to kill this one, too. having a at least a million dollar budget first of all you got to have a really good song but you got to have a good marketing budget how are these are these new joints going to be on one project because they all have a vibe that flows together no um they're just all singles at this point so just like spotify i'll show you i'll show you how i'm releasing them So yeah, yeah, you gotta sell your soul, man. You 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 can buy a number one, but it takes a lot of money, bro. It takes a whole lot of money. So look, we got uh, Bentley, which is what was just dropped, which is this one right here. And then we got nonchalant. So we got nonchalant, we got Bentley, Bentley, and then I'm gonna drop Mud soon, which is the one you just heard, and then I'm gonna do something on that beat um, probably this weekend. So yeah, we got hella tunes coming for you. Your flow's nasty. I love your song. I made it. Hey, I appreciate that, man. I know you gonna be mad when I tell you why I made it. Uh, you went on that song, three bangers in a row. Yep. You know how it goes. So y'all just make sure to go run it up. If you don't fuck with me on Spotify, please do. And go run it up. Add that shit to a playlist. I don't know. Listen to it. The more the more times you stream it, the more likely um, that it'll end up on playlists and shit. So just go hit the go hit that. It's all, it's gonna be on Apple Music as well. It'll be on YouTube. So you guys can stream all this shit for free. It'll be on YouTube as well. So you can stream it for free. I don't I don't like the fact that like making people pay for music. Just fucking listen to it. I, back then, hoes didn't want it. Now I'm hot. They all yeah, no doubt. Yeah, YouTube for me. Yeah, jamming on YouTube. Don't. You don't have to pay for the music, dude. Just enjoy it. Because I enjoy making it, so I don't think it's right to charge people for something I enjoy doing. Who? Mike Jones. My banner? Oh, I need to change it. I need to change it. Here's what I have on YouTube now. What do y'all think about this banner? I made this one recently. I fucked with this one super heavy. Two eight one three three zero eight zero zero four. Hit my Jones up on the low. <laughs> but I, f I fuck with this banner, dude. I came up with this one for YouTube. I'll, I might add that one to my Spotify as well. But this is the new banner. Boy, what y'all know what that is? Uh, it's sophisticated. 
appreciate that. That's what I kind of wanted it to be. I wanted it to be like dapper, sophisticated, just really clean. Like when you look at it, you're like, oh, shit, that's clean. I like that. I like that. Yeah, just clean, classy. Like, because y'all know me, I like to dress up. I like to be classy, but it's it's also like, oh, this guy's got a, he's got a look, but bold. And the colors, I think the, the yellow with the boom, boom, you know? Oh, you're talking about on Spotify? Oh, yeah. Dude, that's so old. I haven't changed that in forever. I just put like an astronaut, I think is what it is. An astronaut. Yeah, it's just a dude falling. I was like, yeah, fuck it. We'll just do it. We'll do lunar. But your boy's got a ton of music on there. Look at this. Ooh, the bridge of gap between electro and hip hop, trendy melodies. Oh. Houston, Austin, Weatherford, Al- Alhambra, Dallas. Bro, I don't even know what the fuck that is. Uh, but y'all want to see the cover art for the next one? Here, I'll show you the cover art for the next one. I'll always show you guys the cover art as well. Get on Canva. Alejandro is like 20 minutes from you. Keep it a shiggity later, yo. Take it easy, paper eating rock. Do you feel like an astronaut on the ocean? Sometimes, I guess. I'll show you guys um, the new cover art really quick. So it's from a live show. Boom. This is it. This is going to be it. I just thought that was a mean-ass picture. I thought it was good. Mouth is all open. I'm like, I just thought it looked tight. I was like, this is it. This is going to be the ones right here. This is going to be it right here. Evo Lash, it's good to have you out. Thanks so much for the follow. I appreciate that, big homie. So, yeah, that's going to be it, dudes. That's going to be it. Oh, what's up? What's up, Tech? What's up, JP? Y'all always be hopping in here super late. Y'all motherfuckers always be hopping in here super late. But y'all know what the fuck. Y'all know what the fuck going on, man. Y'all know what the fuck going on, man. Y'all know how it be, dog. But shit, guys, bro. Had a ton of fun today. I appreciate you guys chopping it up with me, hanging out with me. I fucking love y'all. I miss y'all, man. And I'm really glad that we get to do this once a week. So it's going to be either Tuesday or Wednesday of every week. And since you guys want another IRL, I'll be thinking about another IRL. I'm going to play the song back one more time, and then um, I am out this bitch. Until next time, you can shig shiggity wig wiggity big biggity bet that. It was good to have you guys out. And until next time. <gasps> one second, one second, one second. <sighs> Yeah.